Well, hello, everybody. My name is William Dunn. We're going to be doing something kind of fun today. We're going to do some exotic fish. I like to get the big shape going and then later draw with a brush. And the reason, for me at least, when I draw with a brush, I don't feel so much like I'm just filling in the shape. It's important now I get this eye in the correct place. So I'm looking at this gill, the distance from here to here and from here to here. It's a little more to the right. So let's try to get that. And the color here on the yellow area, it's right about here. There's the gill. Let's do this eye right about there. There's something to think about with a subject matter like this. It's all soft edges, except for the outside. So that's going to be a wet into wet thing to get that softness with a transition from the pinks and purples and oranges and greens and blues and all the color that's in here. This is going to be a lot of fun. So my actual drawing, the fish, excuse me, are larger than they are here. So they're a little bit too dead center. So if I were to crop this, I could come in and crop it, maybe fix that. So I think what I'm going to do is put some of these rays of light and things back here. And maybe this can be dark with a rays of light here and the bright fish against darker water over here. So I am anticipating kind of a layout with dark, bright, light, and dark again. We'll see if that is going to work for me. And I use round brushes primarily. I do use flats once in a while for some things, but mostly round and mostly I like large brushes. This is a Skoda Perla. I have three of these, four if you count a travel brush. So this would be, I could do the whole painting with these three. There's a light coming down. The fish is underwater. Still, there is some light coming down. So the bottom side is gonna be a little darker. So I do have to be aware of that. Now I don't want the water so busy that it detracts from the fish. But I do want it to look a little bit lively. So I'm just mindful of what I'm doing here, that the water is not the subject, really. Ooh, that's a pretty blue. So if I can get some dark water and allow that to surround the fish, that way the fish will stand out because they're bright. There are a few sparkly bits back in here. They're light blue in the photo, but I'm going with the white. 